Sunshine, sunshine is fine. I feel it in my skin, warming up my mind. Sometimes you gotta give in to win. I love the days when it shines. Whoa, let it shine. Hey guys, it's Mike, and this video is gonna demonstrate how to find north using shadows. This is just to find cardinal direction. It's not a very accurate method. It's just to get your bearings about you. Let's say you lose your compass or you just don't have a compass. Um, for this technique, you're going to need a three-foot stick. You're going to plant that three-foot stick in the ground. If you have a taller stick or if you have a pole, that'll be a little bit more accurate. What a three-foot stick will do. And at the tip of the shadow of the stick, you're going to place a rock. You're going to wait 15 minutes and then you're going to place another rock. This draws an east and west line. We'll go over the rest next. All right, so this might not be something you're going to find out in nature, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to use this object I have here. So you can see I have my three foot pole and the tip of it's making a shadow. So we're going to place our first rock and we'll point this rock right at the tip of the shadow. From here we're just going to wait 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. You can see the shadow hasn't moved a whole lot just because it's a smaller stick. Remember the taller the stick, the more accurate your line is going to be. So we're going to place the rock right on the tip of the shadow. Now if I want to extend this line to make it bigger, I can use a piece of 550 cord on the tips of the shadow, or on, excuse me, on the tips of the rocks, and that's going to kind of extend it out. All right, so now we have our east and west line. Now the next problem is which way is east and which way is west? Well, according to the time of the day, the sun's going to be setting on the west. So right now, it is 3.30 in the afternoon, so the sun is going to be setting on the west. So you can see by the shadow, the sun's going to be over here. So this is my west line. And this is my east. So obviously north is going to be up this way. And to verify it, the compass, you can see we have north. All right, so now we're going to try this method with a bigger pole. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use this pole. It's about 10, maybe 12 feet tall. And again, same thing. I'm just going to place a rock at the very tip of the shadow and wait about 15 minutes. All right, so here we have the first rock. Follow the shadow put the tip of the second rock there on the shadow. Once again, that's your east to west line. If you want, you can draw a line between them. Or use some 550 cord here. If you want to just kind of illustrate your line. Again, from where the shadows are coming from, sun setting on the west. So what I could do, since this line is a little bit bigger, I can just kind of stand on the rocks face north. Verify this. Got our compass right here. And that's how you find north using shadows. One thing you should consider when doing this method is doing it during midday. Now during midday, obviously the sun's gonna be more straight above you and not so much to the east or to the west. So determining east and west on your east and west line might be a little bit more difficult. But this can be simply overcome. In the northern hemisphere, the sun's going to be toward your back, to the south. So face away from the sun on your line to find north. In the, nor in the southern hemisphere, the sun is going to be in front of you towards the north. Stand on your line, face north. Sunshine, sunshine is fine. I feel it in my skin, warming up my mind. Sometimes you gotta give in to win. I love the days when it shines. Whoa, let it shine. Whoa, let it shine.